Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I'm searching for love. I'm recently single, I think, and I'm looking for someone who I can spend the rest of my life with, or at least the rest of my probation with. A little bit about me. I'm an actress, a singer, an entrepreneur, and I have single-handedly kept 90% of all gossip websites in business. I would define my personality as uh, creative. I'm a bit of a night owl. I'm a work. I'm sorry I couldn't keep my promise. You probably don't remember, but I was really serious about building that gorgeous house with a big yard, a house on a hill where you could see the sea, with a designer kitchen and a studio in the basement, and piles of clothes in your closet. All the latest fashions, of course. I'd be there waiting. So every time a boy made you cry, you could come back home and just smile. Get ready with me for a rare beauty event and to meet Selena Gomez for the second time. I cannot believe I'm even saying that, but I'm like so excited because Selena was one of the sweetest celebrities I've literally ever met and I'm so excited to see her again. Here's us from the last event. This picture slayed so hard. I don't know how I'm going to top it. That first rare beauty event was so special to me and I have the best memories from it because I just felt so honored to be included from the rare beauty team. It was just the best experience ever. I can't wait for you guys to see my outfit for tonight too because because it looks so cute. I threw it together last minute because I forgot I had this little two-piece set. It looks so fire, so I'm so excited. I really snatched that jaw today. Also, guess who literally just got their period just now, like five seconds ago? If you guessed me, you would be correct, and the cramps are indeed settling in. The timing of this could literally not be any worse because I have to be out and on my feet in heels probably until 10 o'clock tonight. So everyone, please say a small little prayer for me because... I really don't want to be in pain tonight. I hope we get to try some of the Rare Beauty lip oils that just came out because those are looking so good and I cannot wait to try them out. I will say though, my base makeup today is coming out very, very good and I'm so surprised. I don't want to drink anything, but she's slaying. I just did the eyes off camera because I needed to concentrate. Here's the makeup. Go to part two for the hair and outfit. Get ready with me for a Dolce & Gabbana event. Starting off with the Refi Primer. I just got back from France, the French Alps, last night. So I'm horribly jet lagged, but we're making it work. I also got like a skiers tan. <sighs> I'm gonna be using the All Hours Foundation today from Saint Laurent, shade MN6. I also took a pump of Kosas Glow IV and I'm mixing it with the foundation. Guys, I haven't done a full face of makeup in literally over a week. My absolute go-to bronzer has been the Refi one. It's so good. This was all that I was wearing in Majev. Like, no foundation. And it was really nice. I gave my skin a good, healthy break. Next, going in with the Pillow Talk Charlotte Tilbury Matte Blush. Ooh, right there. <laughs> Guys, I'm so off my game. I literally forgot to do concealer. It's okay. Uh, Kosas concealer. I'm just gonna like lightly try and not mess up my blush. I applied the concealer and I blended in um, a little bit of my blush underneath and it looks so seamless. I'm using the classic Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. I like to apply it in these points and up here. Okay, so I just set my face. I literally put powder everywhere and now I'm Doing my brows with the 24 hour brow setter, just gelling them up. Lightly filling my brows in with the Refi brow pencil. Doing a quick eyeshadow look with this Tartlet palette. Doing a smoky liner with the YSL Crush liners. Going back to my all time favorite mascara from Rare Beauty. I haven't used this in a while. By the way, the smoky liner. Super proud of it. I applied a small little coat because I realized I got the new Fenty mascara and I really and I really want to try it out. It says hella big, hella bold, hella thick lashes. Cute wand. I'm just gonna top off my rare beauty one. I just want really volumized lashes for tonight. So the smoky wing is just like doing its thing. Very pretty. I'm gonna add this Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk highlight to finish everything off. And here's my makeup for tonight. I'm gonna do an outfit video, so stay tuned. So stay tuned. 
I need a new profile picture, so I'm gonna get ready for that. Because why not? Chuck nut. Also, sometimes in life, you just have to self-care away, girl. If you want a new profile picture and you want to feel good, you get up and do your makeup and take cute photos. I've got no plans today, but you know when you just want to feel cute? Also, I really enjoy chatting with you guys. It honestly makes me happy. I always read your comments before I go to sleep. And I'm like, oh, I have made friends online. I'm so happy. Honestly, thank you. Is it extra that I'm getting ready just to take profile pic? Yes, but that's what we are about. We like to be extra. Because if you are serious to me, you will make me your profile picture. Have you guys seen that on 9 Today's Fiance? Remember Rose? Yeah. I know that you guys ask a lot of questions about the products that I've used. They're all list in my Amazon storefront in my bio. But on my next video, I'll do a breakdown of every single one. Also, thank you so much for suggesting a few things to help with my insomnia. So some of you were saying chamomile tea and there were like supplements. I'm gonna try melatonin tablets because you can get it really easily on Amazon. And I saw some of you also said magnesium something something. I forgot what it was called, but thank you so much. I did white noise last night and that actually quite helped. But it was still very putul putul. Like I'd still wake up like madaling araw. Forgot the English for that. I don't know about madaling araw. Early in the morning. <laughs> I'm also trying this. I can't pronounce this brand, but it's their Dew Bomb in bronze nectar i think it's like a dupe for the drunk elephant i mean good the drunk elephant is always sold out okay well, I'm not <laughs> very glowy it didn't make me bronze maybe i need a little bit more maybe i've not got the right shade the elf power grip this is gonna be my first time trying it i'm not going anywhere that's why i skipped sun cream today this power grip is supposed to help your makeup be good on your face more it's so big, good, big, good. Also, the sun is getting longer now in the UK. It's so much brighter. In the summertime, the sun settles around 10 o'clock. I also think I figured out why I've been having nightmares for the past three nights. Because I watch Mr. Sunshine before I sleep. So I feel like every time there's blood, I have nightmares. This is why I can't watch gory dramas or anything with blood or everything with like killing killing do you believe that what you watch before you sleep affects your sleep or like affects your dreams or do you ever just wake up and feel the emotion you felt in the dream like for example i woke up once crying crying as though i was in the dream and i'm like Ay, Nicola, it's just a dream like for example if someone like oh it's just name god forbid if someone like passes away in my dream i wake up and i'm like <laughs> completely distraught or even the opposite like when my I had a dream once my boy let did something bad to me i woke up and i didn't speak to him for like two days because i was angry at him in my dream but then i felt that same emotion in real life it's not just me right anyone else this weekend is actually going to be quite fun for me it's my bestie's mom's birthday tomorrow we're gonna get some chicken when we celebrate birthdays we keep it quite simple but we can never forget the pancit. Pancit is always present. I do love a kainan when it comes to birthday though. The typical Filipino food is like spaghetti with Shanghai. Ilocano we get kalding. I love Sunday. Sunday is also my rest day. I don't do anything. I just be sadot sadot and I can be sadot all day. I feel like we only ever celebrate big if it's like a milestone. If you turn 18, if you're Filipino, you turn, if we have like a Cinderella ball, we call it debu. And then I think for guys, it's when they're 21. So every birthday in between doesn't really count. <laughs> it's just like, lang tayo. at least for me personally. I don't really like doing big birthday celebrations. But my next big birthday celebration is probably when I turn 30. At the moment, everything in between, I'm just like, I like to go to Jollibee. You cook me my dinakdakan. I'm perfectly fine with that. Also get a lot of questions about this heated lash curler. It's linked in my Amazon storefront, but basically it's just from Amazon. If you just search heated lash curler, a lot will come up and this is super cheap and it works really really well as well. As Maya Isuna. Well that. I've also been really enjoying this L'Oreal mascara and I only put it on the tip of my lashes. If you've got Asian lashes that is very derecho and goes down all the time. I find that if I put mascara on all of my lashes, it won't stay curled all day. So just the very very tip and I find that it will stay up all day. Very and that's it. We're done. I'm ready to take new profile pictures. If you're Filipino, you know we like pictures. Picture taking is in our blood. Ready to see. 
Okay. Bye. See you tomorrow.